guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Siobhan and today I'm going to be taking you down to Sherwood Forest with me. So I'm going to be leaving in about 10 minutes, I actually need to hurry up, um, to get a bus to the train station because I'm heading down to Sherwood Forest for a week. Um, I'm not actually going specifically to Sherwood Forest, I'm going to work on a dig down in Sherwood um because it's i'm not actually working on it i say working on the dig it's a training dig so i've done a bit of archaeology and stuff in in university but i've never actually worked on an archaeological dig so that's what this is it's a week-long um intensive training course type thing just shoving the last few bits in my bag um yeah i'm not sure how much of it i'm actually going to get to record once i'm down there because, like I said, it's a course, so there's like multiple people down there, and we're going to be actually digging and all, so I don't know how much of a chance I'll have to record, but I figured I'd record an intro now, in case I do get some footage down there. I better have an intro of me actually getting there, so, like I said, I need to hurry, I'm going to finish making my cup of tea, and then go and get my bus. I thought I'd just record a little bit. I'm sorry if I'm talking a bit quiet. I am in a train station and there's a pigeon flooding around over there. Can you see? That's what that random tapping is. Um, so I'm in Retford at the moment um, and I have about a 25 30 minute wait for my next bus and then I'm thinking I might walk the rest of the way because it's like an hour walk but it's an hour wait for a bus so I may as well. I'm gonna go wander for now and kill some time though. kind of weird just talking normally and vlogging normally but I have the entire room to myself so it's a four bedroom or it's a four bed room so there's bunk beds there bunk beds there and I have a little bathroom and a shower it's a nice little place and apparently I'm the only person in here tonight um I don't know if there's going to be more people in here throughout the week. If not, this is brilliant and I can totally just vlog all I like every day. Um, I have a feeling it will get busier during the day because he did just specifically say tonight I'm the only person in here. But it means I can get I can get the hang of where everything is and I can just relax tonight. Um, I am thinking I might go and have a look because I'm right next to the entrance to part of Sherwood Forest. So I'm going to put my phone on charge for a little bit, collapse rest for a bit and then I might go for a wander around Sherwood Forest and also go for a walk back down into Edwinstow and get some food because I'm very hungry now. Um, I've been very bad at just eating cookies all day um, so I'm gonna go and check out what the self-catering kitchen's like if they have like microwave or oven or whatever so I know what I can and can't get for dinner because um, I'm gonna go just to like the grocery store and get something cheap. Oh I'm out of breath. Why am I out of um, I also might do a bit of digging into Edwin Stowe tonight, because I did see just down the road, which I will have inserted a clip of, is a church that is supposedly the place where Robin Hood and Maid Marian got married. If you believe that Robin Hood and Maid Marian were real people, which frankly I don't, but, you know. 
Um, it'd be interesting to see like what the ballads say, if the ballads mention it, and also I might look into that a bit as well. But for now, I need to charge my phone. Okay, so I didn't realise that my hostel is literally right next to Sherwood Forest. Like, not a small part of it. I'd seen like on the map it said Sherwood Forest and I was like that can't be the entrance to like the main bit of Sherwood Forest but it is I'm just wandering I'm maybe like five minutes away from my hostel and I'm on the trail on the way to the Great Oak which is like the legendary supposed home of Robin Hood so I can't believe this is actually right next to my hostel and I didn't know I may just wander in here every evening for about two and a half hours so far and I've already found so much stuff that's just making me completely doubt everything that's ever said about Robin Hood. Um, I found this though that is quite interesting. I don't know if you can see it. So this bit here about Robin Hood with an E. I never knew that it could have been based on someone from from York so I'm gonna have to look into those court records that he's apparently mentioned in because that sounds really cool. But um, basically I'm finding that like the legends, it, a lot of it is stuff I already didn't know because I did have to look into it a bit for my um, my masters, but um, the legends are set in 1190s but they weren't actually recorded until I think the 1300s at the earliest. That's like, well, no actually they were recorded a lot later, that's like the earliest references. Um, so they could have been based on later Robin Hoods, later outlaws. Um, and I know there were later outlaws that did go by the name Robin and a lot of people think that's an homage to Robin Hood and this here This tree is the major oak which big selling part of Shore Sherwood Forest seems to be that this is the home of Robin Hood and in town There's like the church where Robin Hood and Maid Marian got married thing is Let's talk about the church first. Maid Marian wasn't introduced into the legends until the 1800s apparently um, in the medieval versions and stuff, Robin was devoted to the Virgin Mary, also Marian, that was what the Virgin Mary was called, so the idea that Robin Hood and Maid Marian got married there is like an 1800 thing. So you gotta think of all this as like myths and legends, but like there's absolutely no historical accuracy to any of it, and this tree would have been tiny at the time Robin Hood was set, or at the time any of the people who lived would have been around any of the people that are like based on Robin Hood or anything so that that Robin Hood from York from the early 1200s this tree wouldn't have been here so it's pointless in being like this is the legendary home of Robin Hood it wasn't even here it wasn't even here um, so they're saying like another tree similar to this would have been so they just gloss over all of that and like the promotion of the forest but I mean it's still a cool tree and it's hollow inside, so it was used for cockfighting, which a cool bit of history in itself. So, but um, now yeah, I've wandered around Sherwood Forest for a little bit now, so I think I'm just going to maybe sit. There's like some picnic tables over there. I might have a sit and have a sketch here, and just hang out, or I might dig it more into how nothing to do with Robin Hood is true. Okay, so I'm just waiting outside the hostel now for my lift to the dig. Um, should have been here a couple of minutes ago, so I'm sure he'll be here any minute. Um, I barely slept last night. I just really could not get to sleep. I kept waking up every couple of hours. Um, it wasn't because of the hostel, because like, I was the only person in the room. I think I was just nervous I'd oversleep and miss it. 
something. Maybe I was just stressed in general about the dig. Um, I think I have everything, hopefully. Um, yeah, just pretty nervous to get there and get started now, see what's going on. So yeah, I don't know how much I'll get to record while I'm there. Can you tell I'm tired? I really feel like I'm just so tired, I'm not making sense. Um, so yeah, if I get a couple of clips, I might put them in here. Otherwise, I might leave it at this and just have it as a evening in Sherwood kind of vlog. Who knows? But either way, I won't be talking to you again. I'm going to leave it at this for now. If I do manage to film much at the dig, I will make a separate video for that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this random little vlog and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.